Hey everybody, Troy here. Uh, the name of the video today is uh, Three Must-Haves That Could Save Your Life. Um, and Or it could save your, uh, your family's lives or even a, a person uh, you don't know. Uh, and the first thing is, is, is a phone, whether it be your home phone or a cell phone. Uh, you know, preferably a cell phone because, uh, you know, if, if there's a natural disaster and, you know, the phone lines go down or electricity goes down, of course, these, uh, you know, a home phone's not going to work. So preferably a cell phone. And I know during uh, natural disasters, cell towers can go down. So, but at least some type of communication that can, uh, you know, if you have some type of medical emergency, uh, that you can get some help uh, uh, and uh, uh, police help if, if, if you need it, uh, uh, you know, s something with communication. And then, of course, something that you're going to be able to, protect yourself with your family or you know some it could be somebody you don't know if you're if you're out somewhere and uh, you know uh, some people just hate guns or, or got you know uh, are dead set against guns but you have to have something uh, and and you know I, I mentioned in, in previous videos uh, about the uh, uh, the big crimes nowadays are, are the uh, violent home invasions you have to have something to protect yourself because the home invasions if you watch them online if you just type in Google and home invasion uh, videos, you will see all kinds of videos of just how fast the people are in there on on, on top of these people, and they're and they're always most of the time are armed. So you have to have something to to protect yourself and your family, uh, or if you're out and uh, in in public and and you're a concealed carry and and you see something happening uh, to somebody, you can help save that person's life too as well. As well, this co comes in handy. Uh, after the situation has happened uh, and and then you can get the help but um, you know uh, I, I've talked to my mother who's elderly and, and, and talk about guns and, and things like that and, and she's not a big fan of guns I said what happens if, if you're not gonna uh, if we're if I'm not here or, or somebody's not here in the house with you if somebody breaks in you you wouldn't use a gun and, and she goes no I said well then what she goes I would I would use the phone and call somebody I says that's not going to do anything for you because if they're in so fast and so, um, you know, th there's still a lot of people th that are dead set against it. So if, if not a gun, at least have some type of protection. You have to have something, uh, whether it be a baseball bat, a, a knife, uh, you know, something, uh, you know, a, a golf club, something to protect yourself. You, you have to if, if you're not going to rely on, on, on a pistol or a shotgun or a rifle or whatever. And then the other thing is, and I, and, uh, I originally was going to do the uh, two must-haves, but then I got to thinking you have to have uh, some common sense uh, and because you can do things that get you into situations that you would have to that, that you normally wouldn't uh, get into if, if you use some common sense you know some of these home invasions of course uh, and they you know home invasions a lot of time people are just busting your house or, or uh, and then sometimes people are just breaking in your house and and doing the quiet type uh, but uh, you have to have common sense uh, you know some of the people just uh, you know, somebody rings the doorbell and they open up the door. That that's ridiculous. I mentioned in the previous video that even during the daytime, you know, I don't live in a bad area, but still, I get people not knocking on my door. Maybe usually on the weekends or somebody somebody's knocking on my door, and I you know I look out the peephole or the side window. But if I don't know this person, I'm not opening up the door. And even though I have a gun, uh, I can keep myself out of a. a uh, you know, a um, more of a, a situation if I just don't open the door, and that's called the common sense of it. If I open up that door and no, don't know that person, no matter what they look like, they could look like the, uh, uh, you know, the sweetest person or whatever, but you don't know what their intentions are. You know, you hear on the on the news uh, uh, when somebody does something really bad or does a shooting. Oh, I never thought that he or she would ever do that. That they're so nice and and uh, and everything like that. And then so it's always the person that you don't think they would. So keep your, have some common sense and keep yourself out of those situations to begin with. Don't get in a situation that you can't get yourself out of uh, and, and, and being safe and, and not get killed or, or severely injured or somebody else too as well. So uh, a form of commu communication, something to protect yourself with, and some common sense. The three must-haves that could save your life, your family's life, or somebody you don't even know if you're out and about somewhere. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the videos, and, and I know there's other things that could, you know you could say there could be four things, five things, ten things, whatever. But those are the three things that I came up with. Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and have a great weekend.